What's up guys, it's John from Nasty Have Baits. Today I'm gonna be doing a lure unboxing. Um, I placed some orders on Black Friday and uh, different websites, uh, Land Big Fish, Bass Tackle Depot, and Tackle Warehouse, and then a, a custom lure company. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, so here we go. All right, to start out, here is um, some of the stuff I got from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, I got some swim baits. So to start out, I got a. Um, let me focus this. Hold on. Here we go. Start out, I got a bull shad. Um, this is a fast sink five inch. This is in the thread fin shad. These are awesome baits. Um, I've already got one. It's seven inch and it's a slow sink. Uh, I want a fast sink because it can. Uh, I can fish deeper. It'll get down faster. So. Uh, another swim bait I got, hopefully the lighting is good, there we go, is a Gotham Coach, um, this is by Gotham Coach Tackle, it's a, their white crappy 7 inch slow sink, this thing is awesome, I'm going to take it out so I can show you guys, the quality on this thing is absolutely amazing, I decided, god those are some sharp hooks, um, I would step up my swim bait game uh, this year. I really, really want to get into fishing them. So, uh, I mean, I see all those big fish people are catching. And uh, most of the lakes I fish have crappy in them. So, I know this will be a great bait. Uh, it's just, it's huge. Like, compared to my, like, hand, it's, it's a massive. Uh, it's got really, really good detail. Like, um, the paintbrush tail with... It's actually painted, so you can kind of see the, the detail in it. Uh, all the way down to, I mean, just the detail is crazy, like down to the eyes. And then the hooks are just absolutely uh, amazing. These are the owner uh, stinger hooks. These are actually one of my favorite uh, treble hooks you can buy. Um, just the detail is absolutely awesome. And uh, I've heard nothing but good things about this, this bait, so. Uh, they run you about 50 bucks. It might be slightly more. I think I paid 50 because of the 20% the off Black Friday sale. So, um, and then one more swim bait I bought was a Savage Gear. Um, this is the 6 inch line through. I think this is a slow sink. Does it even say? Moderate sink, so yeah. Really sweet bait. I've played with this. Uh, I got to play around with it at the um, Bassmasters Classic. They had a booth, and uh, I was just really impressed because this is the only swim bait I've ever seen um, that actually, when you you uh, let it sink, it actually sits on the bottom just like this, uh, upright, so it doesn't roll over or anything. Um, just absolutely amazing. So, and you can you can burn it and fish it as slow as you want, and it still has the same action. So. Great bait. I'll be fishing that a lot. Um, okay, into the bait. I bought a bunch of crankbaits. Um, so, this is an order. Actually, I bought these on, uh, um, I think we got them on eBay, but um, most people know what um, Zoom, let me see if I have a, where is that? Oh, well anyways, Zoom makes crankbaits. Um, Ed, Ch I think it's Ed Chambers. Like I don't know if he's still making them or not, but these are really, really nice crankbaits, um, custom made. Um, they're kind of hard to find. You can find them all over eBay, but uh, they run you almost I think about twenty bucks. But uh, I found these pretty good deals. So um, each one has um, the name of the model on the bill and what year it was made. So this was made in two thousand thirteen. This is a peanut. Just the coffin bill, uh, and they're all, I think they're balsa, but really awesome crankbaits. Um, some tackle shops do sell them, but you can't find them on Tackle Warehouse or anything, so. Um, and then here is a Stumpy. Uh, it's like a shad pattern. Really, really nice. Uh, here is a Hickey. I've been really, really focused on getting these smaller crankbaits. I've done really, really well this year. 
Uh, one of my friends actually got me into fishing really small crankbaits, and I mean, it's just insane how many fish you catch, even big fish. Uh, here's a mutt. It's, it's just absolutely insane. Uh, I've been using a lot of um, flat crankbaits, like the body style like that. So it's just, it's been insane how many, how many fish we've caught in this year with them. Um, then I'll go into, before I show you the rest of the order from Taco Warehouse, um, I did a, a place an order um, through a guy on Instagram, his name is, or his company is Ryan's Custom Baits. I think it's Custom Baits, yeah. Uh, so anyways, he makes custom crankbaits from scratch. Um, I think they're balsa, I'm pretty sure they are, but they are just absolutely insane. The, um, the design or the quality you get from this is is absolutely insane. The um, these are all his flat style crankbaits. Um, they run f uh, four to six feet, but just the design and the I mean the the patterns are just this is not the best light. There we go. But anyways, that's like a um, like a dark blue gold kind of pattern. It's just crazy, and these run seven to ten dollars. Like you're not gonna find this this quality anywhere else in a bait, and it that price. So um, this is another cool pattern. It's got an orange belly, chartreuse, and then his on top of that, his foils. I'll get to those in a second, but his foil patterns are absolutely insane. This is his tomato color, like. That <laughs> I'm just blown away by the quality. And then he makes um, this is pretty interesting. This is a lipless bait, um, a lipless wooden bait. I've never fished one before, but I was really curious because it's silent too, and uh, I was really curious to see. How, I love fishing lipless, so I want to see how this how it worked out. Um, sorry, I should have had this organized before I took. <laughs> Alright, here is one of his foil patterns. This is another lipless. This is his crappy pattern. Like, look at that. It's just crazy how, how awesome that is. Like, I wish I could show, like, down to the, see the gills and everything. It's just crazy. Alright, here's some more of his, like, look at that. This is his baby bass foil pattern. Like, it's insane. It even shows the dorsal f or the uh, fins on the side and stuff like that, down to like the gills. It is awesome. Absolutely amazing. I'm just blown away. Here's another one of his um, foil patterns. Look at that. It's called Ryan's Custom Baits. Um, here's a really cool foil pattern. I've, these are definitely the best foil patterns I've ever seen in my life. And here's another cool pattern. Like this is actually a, I think it's a Bagley's color. It's called Skunk. But I told him I wanted one painted, so he does this color. <laughs> cool. Um, I got a couple more, but they're pretty much all similar. Like these foil patterns, it just blows me away by the quality of that. I think the fish are gonna just destroy those. So, yep. So go check them out. This is uh, contact him if you want through um, Instagram because um, that's I think the best way to uh, get a hold of him. So that's how I talk to him. Um. Okay, so back to the tap warehouse. I bought a bunch of uh, Lucky Craft, uh, Lucky Craft crankbaits because they had. This is most of the crankbaits were bought through Bass Tackle Depot. They had. They said they were moving stores, so it was like forty percent off everything, and everything went really fast. But I was lucky enough to get some um, Lucky Craft out of it. So here are some. Um, I got a bunch of these flat crankbaits. They're called the Flat CBMR. 
This one goes seven to nine feet, and this is in the matte pumpkin. So I was getting these um, about seven dollars a piece. So it, it was just I had to stock up, and I really have never really fished many Lucky Craft, but I've heard such good things, and um, I just wanted to try them out. But uh, this is Gunmetal Shad, same model as the last. Here's one in Tennessee Shad. Um, another one, this one's really cool, Mad Tiger. Really cool patterns. Like I said, I've been fishing the um, flat crankbaits a lot, so why not stick with it and get some more? So I got some clear patterns too because the water I fish is really clear. This is the Ghost Brown. So on some translucent patterns, um, give a more natural look. Here's one in the Aurora Bass. This is a nice pattern. I love baby bass, so that's perfect. Um, another in the, what is this one? Aurora Green Perch. I think that's it on the flat crankbaits. Uh, then I bought some square bills and these this is the fat CB. Um, they call it the Big Daddy Strike, I guess. This is in Baby Bluegill. Another natural looking pattern. Sorry, the glare. But it's got a chartreuse little tip to the tail. It's pretty cool. But, um, like I said, I want to stick some natural color. So, here's one in the Golden Shiner. Nice looking bait. I'm hoping these hooks are really sticky. People say they are, so I don't have to change change the hooks out. This is splatterback. And this is another cool color I like. Um, this is the sexy sh chartreuse uh, perch. Um, another one in the green perch, Aurora green perch. Um, another one, this is in a smaller model, this is the Fat CB2, this is in the Fall Crawl. It's cool because it's got claws on its bill. <laughs> This is a perfect little uh, crankbait. I'll be able to burn that. Um, I think that's it on the square bills for Lucky Craft. Yeah. Okay. So now I bought some pointers. Um, well, some shad type bait and some pointers. This is a bevy shad, it's 75. It suspends at uh, four to five feet. This is in the baby bluegill, or no, the sunfish pattern. Um, here's a pointer 78, and this is in the gun so or <laughs> gun ghost sunfish. So you can see right through that bait. All right, and next we got another pointer 78 in the black and gold. Nice looking bait. We got a pointer 100 in the ghost chartreuse shed. I should have bought more of these 100s. They're uh, more of the size I was looking for. This 78 is pretty small, but it'll be a nice little finesse bait. Okay, I think that's it on on Lucky Crafts. Unless I just run into some more, but um, so here is. A new bait that came out this year. Berkeley is now making, um, I think they made uh, crankbaits in the past, but they came out with uh, some new crankbaits this year. This is called the Wild Thing. 
8.5. It is a crankbait with a really, really steep bill, and it's a coffin bill. I've never seen a crankbait with a coffin bill that steep at that angle. So it'll be pretty interesting. It says it has a really unique hunting action, so I'll be curious to see what that's like. And I really like this bait because it has um, just another thing I liked about it was that it says 8.5, so 8.5 stands for 8.5 feet. It goes 8.5 feet deep, and it says on the how deep it goes. So you know how you when you're loading your tackle box up and you kind of forget how deep some of them go if you don't label them. So it'll be nice to have that. But uh, this is like a um, what they call this one? Ghost green crawl. Really cool pattern. So we'll see how that works. And then I got another one in the perch pattern. These run about seven dollars, I think. Um, but I got twenty percent off, so it's got a nice little. God, these actually these hooks are pretty sharp. So we'll see how those work out. Looks pretty good quality. Um, I guess we'll just try to try them out. But um, next, I bought a bunch of Yozuri's because Yozuri right now they're having the 25 days of Christmas sale and they're $4.99 a piece, which is uh, awesome for Yozuri. These run, they say they run about $10. So um, here is one in the medium crank. Uh, this is. They don't say the names on here. I wish they did the names of the bait, the uh, patterns. But these are all Prism, the Prism series. Um, this is like in a sexy, a sexy shed. All I like them because they're all like clear baits, but they have a little um, flash to them in there. So I think these will work out pretty well. Um, I've always liked Yozuri. They got really sticky hooks, so and they make quality baits. Next is another in the same pattern. It's this is the black back gold. You kind of see that flash in there. These run six to eight feet deep. So uh, next, I got some of their square bill um, crankbaits. These run three to five feet. This is in their baby bass pattern. So pretty nice. It's got that nice. Flash. Uh, here is another in the square bill. This is their bluegill pattern. The glare is killing me right now. Apologize for that. Let me see if I can just turn it over here and see if it'll be better. See, you got that flash. Next, I know we got more of these. All right, here's another one, and this is like a another I don't know chartreuse, yeah chartreuse or a sexy shed. Um, I think that's it on the. Yeah, it looks like that that'd be it on the square bills. So now I got some of their flat crankbaits. This is in the coffin bill. It goes six to eight feet. This is the sexy shed. Oh, I got another one in that same model. Oh yeah, here it is, in bluegill. And then I got some of their wake baits. Um, this is, this goes zero to 0 0.5 feet. So this is the black gold. And this is in their, I think Tennessee shed. Um, next. Here, this is a really cool pattern. This is their wake bait and their frog pattern. There we go. Cool pattern. Um, and then I got some of their lipless baits. Uh, this is 
a sexy shag pattern. Look at that flash. It's gonna be killer on one of those bright days in the at the lake. So here's one in the black gold. Or no, this is Tennessee shed. Looks like black gold though. It's got an orange belly. Uh, here's one in the it almost looks like the same pattern I just showed you. A lot of them look like the same patterns, but they have slight differences, so that one had, the one before had gold, that one has like a uh, silver flash. And then I got one more, and this looks like almost the same pattern, but it's just like, almost like a, just a clear, clear looking bait. Nice bait fish presentation. And then I bought some of the jerk baits. These go, these suspend at, I don't know, it really tells me. Three and a half feet, it looks like. I don't know. But this is like their perch pattern. Uh, here is one in their... I think this is IU. It looks like IU. That Japanese bait fish. And another. And this is their Tennessee shed. I mean, I don't know how many are left right now. I think there's plenty left, but these run ten dollars usually. But now they're four ninety nine. You can't really, you can't beat that. So, and then I got two of their new style baits. This is this is a what do they call this thing? Let's call it a crayfish. It just has crayfish, and it's slow sinking. So this is like a pretty interesting bait. Um, most of the likes I fish at have crayfish. So I was like, why not give this a try? Especially because they were, I didn't want to buy them before they were 10 bucks. So um, this right here is, uh, it's like a clacker bait. You tie, the line tie is right here at the end of the tail. So when it's going through the water, you're gonna have this clacking noise. So it's like uh, a crayfish trying to escape. But at the same time, it has rubber arms, so I'm sure these kind of flail in the water. So, and it also looks like it's supposed to be weedless. It's got this band around the hooks right here, a uh, wire band. So this isn't like a red, red cray, uh, red crayfish bait. So, um, pretty interesting design. So it's just supposed to flap like this and make this clicking noise. So I'm really interested in how this really is going to work and I've seen it in the videos and kind of you can just sink, uh, jerk it and it falls down like a defensive position and then you can jerk it and just scoot off the bottom just different ways you can fish it and it's got the yeah that's pretty much the way I just told you is pretty much how they tell you to fish it right there so we'll see if it um, it works out that way I'm actually going to I bought a fish tank so I can start showing my the bait I make in the fish tank, like the actions and stuff. So I'm gonna try this one out in the fish tank just to see see what it does. But I got another one of those in a it's like a brown crawl looking pattern. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but it's got like little spots on the side. So um, next. I got some DT, Rapala DTs. These are the new patterns. I got a bunch of DTs, but this is a DT-10 and the, um, what is it? The Live Largemouth Bass. So these are like their new foil patterns. They look, supposed to look exactly like the bait fish. So this is um, a Largemouth Bass. The DT series, like the DT-6, I think is my all-time favorite Rapala bait. Um, here's one in the, um, I think it's a small mouth. Yeah, the small mouth pattern. I mean, look at that detail. That's pretty awesome. It's a DT6. <clears throat> Next, another DT6 in pumpkin seed. It's pretty insane, the detail on that. And then, um, here's a DT10 in the river shed. 
So the difference between this foil and the ones I showed you from Ryan's custom baits is these are actually printed off, um, printed out, and then they're placed on the bait themselves. On his foils, <clears throat> like I'll show you, his foil patterns is just literally him taking the foil and putting it on the bait and then him um, um, actually putting the design into the foil. Uh, I don't know what tools he actually uses, but you can tell by the gills and all that stuff. It's just, it's insane, the detail that goes into this. So, <clears throat> if you're interested in getting some foil patterns, go with him. He can um, literally take one of any bait you want, <clears throat> any crankbait you want, <clears throat> excuse me, and he'll, uh, uh, he can put any pattern on it. So, if you got some crankbaits, some wooden ones that are, you know, damaged or whatever you want to fix, he can fix them and put a new pattern on them. So, um, back to the order. This is a red eye shad. Um, this is a new uh, two tap red eye shad. It has tungsten weights in it. I think it's just a, a one knocker, but this is in the natural shad. Um, one, the one knocker is my all time favorite uh, lipless crankbait. So, this will be almost just like it, just a different body style. Um, and then I got another one in a orange brim pattern. Just a natural looking brim pattern right there. But, uh, and to finish it out, I bought two rods. Um, this right here is a Keshin rod. This is a seven foot three cranking, um, Seven foot three cranking Keshin. Let me try to focus. Yeah, there's Keshin right there. So I got it paired with my Stees, my Daiwa Stees. But this thing is, is so nice. It's got plenty of give. Um, it's got micro guides, and uh, I love the carbon fiber handles or the uh, the grips. Really, really nice. One of my friends turned me on to this company. It's actually made here in North Carolina, so um, just really, really awesome. Like this combo right here, I can just launch the bait. So that'll be my new cranking, one of my new cranking rods. And then I bought one more cranking rod. This is pretty amazing steel right here, I think. I mean, if you look at the Tackle Tour um, reviews, this is um, an absolute steel. Uh, of a rod. This, it's not going to focus, but this is my new Lucky Craft. Um, I mean, just the detail on this thing alone is pretty amazing. This is a seven foot um, medium, heavy, medium heavy action. And uh, it's just a, I haven't fished it yet, but I just, the, I mean, the reviews on it alone are pretty amazing. So the detail is just, it's just quality. It looks like JDM all the way. And the craziest part about it is the, I bought this for um, under $100. They usually, when they first came out, they were like $150 to $200. But uh, Tackle Warehouse had them on sale. They have them on sale actually right now for $49. So you really are getting a nice rod for the money. Like you cannot beat this for 50 bucks. Um, just really, really nice rod. The only thing I, I noticed the difference is like holding holding the Keshin rod and comparing it to the Lucky Craft is just the weight difference, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. And I'll put a, a description um, of the uh, Ryan's custom baits in there so you guys can see it. But uh, thanks for watching.